Hi, fourth grade, it's Mrs. Feathers. We're going to take a look at your grammar practice pages for the week. This week, we're jumping ahead a little bit to unit six, week one. So you will be assigned pages 126 to 129. Let's look at page 126. This will be assigned and due on Monday. This page is looking at adverbs. So an adverb is a word that tells more about a verb, such as how, when, or where an action takes place. Adverbs can be written before or after the words they describe, or the verb they describe, and many adverbs end in ly and they usually tell how, but again, they can also tell when or where. Let's take a look at this first page. I'm gonna add in some underlines for you so that you can just drag the lines to identify the adverb in each sentence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Number one says, she slept late on Tuesday morning. So I need to underline the adverb and then write it on the line. The box at the top told me that a lot of times adverbs end in ly. However, in this sentence, I don't see a word that ends in ly. An easy way to find the adverb is to identify the verb first. So the verb or the action in this sentence is slept. I need to look at the word before and the word after slept to figure out which one is the adverb. She is before slept. She is a pronoun. Late is after slept. And late is my adverb. So I'm going to take one of my lines, underline late. It describes when she slept. And I'm going to write late on the line. Let's look at number two. We leaned carefully over the fence. I do see a word that ends in ly, carefully, and it is right after my verb, leaned, and it tells me how somebody leaned. So carefully is my adverb. You will finish this page with the same directions for three through 10. On Tuesday, you will be assigned pages 127 to 128. Page 127, we're looking at adverbs again. The box at the top tells me that an adverb is a word that tells more about a verb. It can be written before or after the verb it describes. Again, some adverbs tell where an action takes place. Some adverbs tell when an action takes place. These adverbs may describe how often an action takes place. Some adverbs tell how an action takes place. These adverbs may describe how completely an action is performed. Relative adverbs, where, when, and how, begin adjective clauses that modify nouns. On this page, we're going to circle the adverb in each sentence, and then on the line, we're going to write if the adverb tells where, when, or how an action takes place. We're gonna do two together. Number one says the little bird flew away. I do not see a word that ends in ly. So I'm going to identify the verb. The verb is flew. The word above or before flew is bird. That's a noun. The word after flew is away. So I'm going to drag one of my circles to circle away. I need to resize it a little bit. And on the line, I need to tell whether away tells where, when, or how. 
Away tells me where the, blue, the bird flew. Number two says the student clearly wrote her name. I see a word that ends in L-Y, clearly, and it is right before my verb, wrote, and clearly tells me how the student wrote her name. You will finish this page with the same directions for 2 through 10. Slide 2 or page 128. We're looking at good versus well. So we use the word good. It's an adjective and it is used only to modify a noun. Well is an adverb and it's used to modify a verb and it tells how about a verb. We do not want to confuse the adjective good with the adverb well. On this page, I am going to complete each sentence by writing good or well. Let's do a couple together. You completed that task very, I need to put good or well. In this sentence, it should be well because it's an adverb. It's describing how the student completed their task or the person completed their task. Number two, do you know him blank? Again, I need to use the word well because it is modifying the verb no. It's asking whether or it's asking how well somebody knows somebody else. And number three, this is a blank example of what I mean. This one is good because it's an adjective describing the example. You will finish this page for, with the same directions for four through 10. On Wednesday, you will be assigned page 129. It is a proofreading page. The box at the top goes over the same rules we just went over on the previous pages. And on this page, we're rewriting the sentences below, correcting any mistakes in adverbs and adjectives. So number one reads, we mistaken thought that there would be enough chairs for everyone. There is a mistake in the word mistaken because it is an adverb and should end in L-Y. It is modifying or describing the verb thought. Should be mistakenly. You will finish this page proofreading for two through five. As always, please reach out to any of the ELA teachers and we will be happy to help you with any questions that you have. Your grammar quiz is on Thursday. Make sure you're looking back at your comments to fix any mistakes and understand um, adverbs before your grammar quiz on Thursday. Have a great day, fourth grade. Bye.